All right, good morning, collective. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a good day whenever you see this. I'm gonna get the portal open. Spirit's already kind of got a message this morning about <clears throat> detoxing I kind of want to let it flow organically today so angels archangels spirit guides those who wish to see us walk the higher, highest path for the greatest good Bustet Bra both. And for whoever needs to know this, I usually start off every one of your readings like this. I just don't always show it. With the pendulum swing, I mean. Alright, so... Like I said, I've already kind of like just been playing around with the cards this morning. I get a really strong, strong feminine energy. Um, I feel like there's a need for a detox, <clears throat> but it's like a spiritual detox. You need to be using your discernment, what you're feeding your mind. All right, what does the collective need to know this morning? Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. What else? No, 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 no. All right, that was crazy. Let's try that again. What else? Thank you. Straddling worlds, wandering between realms. There's a lot of purple here. Purple makes, ooh, this purple and blue make me think that yesterday you guys went through some kind of a crown or star, soul star chakra opening. Spirit, is there anything else that you want to give me from this deck? Okay, I'm not feeling it anymore. What do we got at the bottom of the deck? Whale song with resonating. Dream thing. Ooh. Okay. So, kind of like the underlying energy here is what are you resonating with? Somebody could be 61. Also, with dream th thief, refusal of the call, like you've mm, maybe been ignoring it for 13 years. Refusal of the call. Wandering between realms. Rest and renewal. Well, it seems to me like for a long time you didn't know what you resonated with, and now hmm. and because you didn't know what you resonated with, you refused your call. You got a lot of information, downloads, visions, dreams, and you ignored them. You chalked them up to nothing but... Um, You chalked them up to nothing but dreams. I just watched something with Jordan Peterson the other day about we should not ignore our dreams at all. 
Um, yeah, so, and this here kind of makes me think, like, you know, together. Uh, like, you've been wandering around in the dream state with no real purpose or intention because you don't or didn't um, recognize that the dreams were uh, spirit calling you. Okay, so you went through yesterday with the serious Stargate. Like, oh, look. Huh, I didn't even notice this. This happens a lot. 2552. So, mirroring numbers. Um, yeah, like, you kind <clears> of... <throat> because you are not really... You were not really resonating with the fact that these were, in fact, um, clarion calls for you, let's say. You had something open up yesterday in regards to your chakra system, and now you're being called to rest because you're straddling the spirit world and the earth realm maybe hmm and it's about to get real so you really need to take some time to rest all right the empress and the king of cups okay Spirit, please tell the collective what do they need to know. Let's start with this underlying energy here with whale song. Somebody could be 31 years old, 25 years old, 52 years old. The star and the five of swords. So there's been a healing process going on for you um, around this, men, around your mental state. Five of Swords is conflict and arguing, and this is, um, yeah, the arguing and conflict within the self. Like, with Dream Thief too. like, I kind of feel like every time your intuition said hey, you really need to pay attention to this dream. It means something more. You just boo-fooed it because of, let's say, pre-programming, childhood programming. Like, dreams are just dreams. And there's been a lot of healing around your intuition and creativity. You know, when I see the deer in this deck, this is a young deer. This is a fawn who hasn't lost its spots yet. Like, he's grown... He's grown his antlers, but he hasn't lost his spots. So this is, like, immaturity. But you're healing that. Um... Keeping that childlike innocence about you so that you can be creative and healing the thought process around dreams are just dreams, right? You're understanding that there's a lot more to our dreams than um, meets the eye. The poppies in the picture of the star, too, um, are, is just more confirmation of that dream state healing. Uh, poppies to me like it reminds me of um, that scene from the Wizard of Oz sleep 
sleep the Wicked Witch of the West putting the spell on the poppy field, right? They're all in this, uh, like, heroin high from the opium from the poppies. <laughs> okay. Oh, what else? Let's see. Ooh, the Magician and the Four of Pentacles. There's some more of that very young energy, like, hmm. The message here is definitely whatever you're manifesting, you need to keep it to yourself. Four of Pentacles also is, um, not spending money, uh, budgeting, but to me, I kind of feel like this fox. Foxes, foxes bury their food and often forget where it is. But they have like little stashes everywhere. And this to me is like keeping your, your dreams and whatever it is that you're manifesting, keeping it to yourself. Um, the less people know, the less interference that they can put into... Um, the less interference that they create energetically for your manifestations coming to fruition. Yeah, and then with the Three of Wands here, too, like, oh, wow. So, you, something you're manifesting or something that you want to manifest, obviously keep a secret, but now is the time to take action on it. In order to bring this thing to um, fruition you're going to have to start making a plan or taking action on your plan, I should say. All right, so that's with the whale song resonating and dream thief, refusal of the call. So There's been a lot of swimming upstream and against the current for you. And because of that, it's been um, a state of anxiety and restless nights. And spirits telling you, like, it's time to move. With the Eight of Wands here. Also, 1098, how freaking interesting is that? So, there's a progression of... We could even say like 8, 9, 10. But with the 8 of Wands, like all of these wands are moving toward um, the past. And I really feel like... Spirits wanting you to get off your ass and take action on this thing that you want to manifest. Like, 
Uh, okay, so here's what I'm hearing. God only helps those that help themselves. So you're going to have to put in a little bit of work. You are going to have to put in some work to, uh, like it's not just going to fall in your lap. So, like, if you're trying to manifest money, let's say, what are you doing to manifest them, those opportunities that are going to bring you money? Did you buy a lottery ticket today? Did you um, apply for new jobs today? Did you, um, maybe you have a job, maybe you need to, uh, maybe you need some money because you have a situation where you've got this big repair coming up and you didn't have enough saved. So did you go down to the bank and try to apply for a loan? Like the opportunities are there, but you have to take action on those opportunities. Because ultimately, like, if you're wandering between realms, like, if you really are straddling the, and you are, you are really straddling the two worlds, okay? Um, you can manifest whatever you desire. You just have to reach out and grab it. And I often say that the spiritual journey and the mental health journey are, go hand in hand. Um, and here we have recognition of that with the 25 and the 52. Um, yeah, so... There's no need to stress out and have anxiety, you know, over this thing or swimming uphill. Like, you need to just stop. Take a break for a moment. Um, to kind of wrap your head around how you're going to move forward. So, what can we tell... Oh, thank you. Five of Cups. What else? The Chariot... Chariot and the Five of Cups. Man, that's a lot of, um, that's a lot of heartbreak and disappointment. The moth makes me think about change and, um, change. Essentially, all the fives are change. The fives force us to change. And you've got three broken cups here, and you've got lightning bugs and the other two cups, like, illuminating the fact that those cups are empty, and we really need to be pouring into ourselves. And the change, the transformation is going to come... So this is like a death and a rebirth card, almost, if you look at it. You know, you've got that, the death, the death moth, moths, butterflies, or change and renew, or uh, transformation and change. Uh, the lightning bugs are illuminating the fact that those cups are empty and you have to fill them yourself. And with the chariot here, number seven, uh, it's like you've got a badger in the hen house. But the badger doesn't give a shit about the hens. Or maybe he does care about the hens. This is about willpower moving forward. Why would the artist put the chickens with the badger? But they're also looking back to the past.
Mm. We got the Eye of Ra. The Full Moon. Mm, this could also be a balancing of um, the good and bad within ourselves. The willpower and determination to move forward, absolutely. And it's looking at these two empty cups here, too. And I feel like there's a message... Especially with the Nine of Swords to like get off your butt and pour into your own cup. So there's a self-love element here too. Along well, you know, like especially with this rest and renewal, the Garden of Venus and straddling. Like, you have to stop wandering between the realms. Like you have to have a solid foot in the earth realm. And you know, I spend a lot of time myself in the etheric um, spiritual realm, so to speak. I do spend a lot of time there. I'm comfortable there. Um, I especially love, like, if I can lay down and it feels like it might be a two-hour nap, but he, it looks like a two-hour nap, but, like, I really like to get into that meditative state. And I, I have been doing it a lot where... You know, I say I'm going to lay down and take a nap. And actually what happens is, is I jump immediately into the astral and I go on a journey and I'm very, very comfortable in that place. And it wouldn't take a lot for me just to stay in bed all day and kind of like live in that space. Um, there's a message here about, yeah, you need to rest, and, but you can't live there. You really have to plant one foot firmly here in the physical because you can get lost in the astral. You know, people with schizophrenia, I, I feel of oftentimes are stuck in the astral and they can't get grounded. All right, what else can we tell the collective this morning about this? So the lover's card begs us to balance um, our masculine and feminine, balancing the opposites within ourselves in order to heal and transform. You know, here's another poppy too. Um, right now, these to me look like Crayfish, not scorpions. To balance the energy, to heal, to transform. That's, yeah. And that's how you can pour into your own cups. With the Three of Pentacles is about collaboration and teamwork. And to me, I see the stag collaborating with the wolves. Or the wolves collaborating against the stag. But the stag has the pentacles. The four of them together. But it's like the teamwork of a hunting pack. The Eight of Pentacles kind of like, I see the same sort of thing, like wasps live in colonies. Mastering. The mastery of abundance. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so going back to the, um, yeah, so this is going back to the, like, what have you done to help your manifestations along? Okay, what have you done? Um, 
you know, and this is the Knight of Cups. It's like, you know, take action, taking action on your um, emotions, you know, taking control of your emotions, filling your own cup. The full moon is like insight and bringing light to the subconscious. Ah, yes. Bringing your subconscious back into the physical. Getting your head out of the clouds. The Queen of Wands, you're transforming into something beautiful and powerful. The sunflowers make me think of God's illumination. There's a crescent moon, the sunflowers, the crow with the wand. Mmm, yeah. Taking action, filling your own cup and becoming... Well, you already are sovereign. You already are a royal being, confirmation. Um, you already are there, but Spirit's asking you to really take control of your emotions and master staying grounded in the 3D and not spending... You're too comfortable in the astral. And you have to be grounded here. Yeah, so as soon as you learn to really get comfortable with straddling the worlds, not spending too much time over here in the dream state, not spending too much time here, okay. Earth realm is very low vibrational and high vibrational beings were very uncomfortable here in the earth plane. And what I'm hearing is, is you cannot, you cannot get comfortable here with the earth realm because you're not an earth realm being. You are a um, light being. So you want to be more. I mean, look at this. This is an angel. This is an angel. And you are so uncomfortable here on earth. And you just really want to, you know, like fly away. But you have to master grounding yourself here. Because this is, you may, you... incarnated here in this lifetime for a reason so you have to be able to ground your butt here and it's okay to go back and forth right but you really have to stay grounded in the fact that your work is here on in the earth realm um, and you have to master that to become this queen of wands I mean you're already you're already source you're already source, so you're already sovereign, you're already royal. Mm. And this wheel of fortune. We've got the wisdom of the owl, we've got spiders, weaving webs, we've got a snake that looks like it's getting ready to shed its skin, more moths, scorpions. This is like the wheel of life. And if you're ready, it's getting ready to turn in order for you to move on to the next part of your journey. I 
I mean, I feel like you have all the tools, really, that you need to um, come into whatever your mission is. But this cycle of entrapment that you feel like you're in, this cycle of anxiety, this cycle of depression, oh, nothing works out for me, is going to end as soon as you get off your butt and start doing the work. You have to meditate more. You need to journal more. You have to become a mirror. Ah, I see. You have to become a mirror of your higher self. So you're here in this earth realm and you have to become a mirror of your highest self. Anything else you want the collective to know this morning? Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it here. One more message. No. Yes. No. This is going to be a slow, it is going to be slow for you, like, in order to reach this mastery. I do feel that, but with the horsemen here, um, this makes me feel like the horsemen of the apocalypse, the horses of the apocalypse, um, right? They're heralds of change. Like, they bring destruction because the book of Revelation is, it happens, this is everybody's freaking journey and if I could get just one person to understand that the symbolism and the um, stories in the because there's like three different stories going on in the book of Revelation but this is what happens in everyone's life it's what happens to every generation collectively and and it is what happens to every empire who abuses its power so it is the it is the journey it is the fool's journey the book of revelation is the fool's journey um right because at the end you get the world and there's 21 chapters in the book of revelation and if i'm not mistaken there's 21 verses in the 21st chapter and that is new jerusalem the very last passage is new jerusalem actually while i've got you here let's look because do do because i have my handy dandy bible here because i don't read the bible like everybody else i see the bible completely different okay Twenty-first chapter of Revelation, and there are yep, just like I said, twenty-one, twenty-one. So Revelations twenty-one, twenty-one says, "The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all." Amen. The twentieth says, "Okay, so this is all about." Um, I'm going to start here. I'm going to start at 12. Oh, no, I lied. There's 22 chapters, but there's only 21 verses in the 22nd chapter. Actually, I'm really being called to read 2121. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every single gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. Okay. Okay. 
the, chapter 21 talks about New Jerusalem. And it talks about all the crystals and all the jewels. The 12 gates were the 12 pearls, pearls of wisdom, the gates, the portals, the um, vortices. You know, if we just take the time to look at the Bible as being um, symbolism for what we go through as human beings, because that's what it is. It really is. It was so misconstrued. It was so misconstrued. Okay, so let's go back. This is a herald of change, okay? So you're being really, you're being asked to jump in and get the shadow work done, to get the healing done. I mean, you've already healed so much. You now understand that your dreams are not just dreams. They're messages from the divine. So, yeah. That's really all I've got for you guys right now. Mm, I love you. I hope you have a good day. I really hope, you know, that yesterday brought some powerful insights for all of you as well. So if you're, um, if your July 7th was amazing, let me know in the comments. If it wasn't, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.